me. Told you. And I walked the carpet. Awful. And Do you remember the first time you were on a red carpet? And what was that? What was that like? Well, you, I was always scared. Like, I think the first time I did a red oh, carpet was Oh, I got a good first time. What? Go, because mine's not even that good. I was in the George Best movie. It was my first ever feature film, or maybe I'd done bit, but it was sort of the big one, and then I flew out to the Isle of Wight and we shot it, and then I walked the red carpet, and everyone's like, oh, wow, you know, you've come from home and away, this was this Australian show I was on, and you were in the did it, and I answered all these questions about a character, sat down, wasn't in the movie. I'd been edited out completely. Oh God, and but nobody like, told you? And oh, I that's walked, not the, even funny. I walked that's the carpet awful. and gave an interview, and and I oh, just said I to, love. and as we got, and I saw the director going up the stairs to the after party, but I wasn't very confident back then, but I was like, oh, I wasn't in the movie, oh, and he goes, like he's never seen me before, and then he goes, oh, Oh, I'm so sorry, but like, it, it, and then I didn't even have the, you know, the balls to say like why or what. It was just like moving on. By the way, can you imagine if that happened now? You would have such a different reaction. Well, yeah, because I feel like now you're part of the process. <laughs> that would not happen. But you'd be part of the process. You'd say this part of the story is not working. Like I know a lot of big actors that have been cut up. Particularly, there's a lot of directors where they don't know where the story is going to go. But you wouldn't feel personally because you know you'd be part. You'd be privy to those creative conversations. I wasn't, and I didn't know much of it then back then about story and how. You know, films come together, so it was a bit shocking. <laughs> I find red carpets, though, I still find I get so nervous. You and, do? Yeah, I just get like, uh, uh, not, it's, it's an awkward well, thing. It's become quite corporate it now. Looks, yeah, it looks You know, really what are you wearing? What are you looking like? Like, what are, you know, like it, it's. People it, screaming your name. Yeah, and they're not nice either. They say terrible things. Somebody screamed at the Oscars. <laughs> screamed at somebody and somebody screamed because Sam we were late getting in and he went to move and she screamed at Sam to get back to me and I went don't scream at him and Sam started laughing he's like oh my god I was like she but she literally like scolded him and I was like I don't go yeah. for that these people are very competitive I yeah they're very competitive <laughs> yeah yeah, I but was some of them the are red great. carpet too, and someone stepped on the back of my first Golden Globes. No. Sasha won for Borat, but I had this big blue Herve Leger. It was a bandage top, but like a tulle tutu Beautiful. ballerina. But then it had a silk, the bottom layer was silk, and the rest was like see-through tulle. Someone stepped on the back of my dress and Don't ripped it. my tuchus. My butt, my butt was out because it just got pulled down, and I was like posing over no. my shoulder. Like didn't even feel the no. breeze on my little... Naked wow. derriere, like this, thinking I look like Lady Muck. And then I got to the end of the car, I was like, something feels wrong. And then I felt my skin and had a total panic attack. But the photo only went to one like place. And it never really proliferated media in any way, because who was I? But That's now, nice now she's going to find it. <laughs> I was like, my name's no longer Isla Fisher, it's Isla Flasher. But I'm so <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Do watch ever, like, Do you ever like watch, I ask the guys, do you ever like watch? old interviews with yourself because everything's online now like old people oh interviews way like never that would be awful i don't think sometimes people send you stuff like somebody sent me something and it was an interview and it was strange it was strange i was like what is this and i'm watching it and i was like that's so it feels like such a weird thing but somebody sent me a picture i took my puppy i guess on a talk show I did a talk show and I was like, well, clearly I had nothing to say. And I took my dog, who's now 12, but I had a five week old baby Sadie and she looked like a cat. I just had her. I was like, what am I doing? Who, who takes a dog out? Like, what am I? Paris Hilton. Hilton that's what I can say. <laughs> Paris Hilton. Yeah. Better than a raccoon. <laughs> Safer I, than a skunk. So, you know, <laughs> you know when, when you wake up and you're like not feeling it one day and then you have to like perform and be funny. How do you how do you get through that process? It's called acting. <laughs> That's all it is. I um I never have ever run out of the joy of tapping into my inner idiot. When I'm allowed to be mischievous, I feel like real life is exhausting. Not upsetting anybody, trying to just be a good like be a good like just life is tiring. But just being a clown is easy. It's just like it's my piece. It's your piece. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's it's just acting. You're just going to work. We get played to make believe. And yeah. so I mean, 
it's fun, whether it's a comedy or Just playing or dress comedy. ups and yeah. saying silly words and trying to entertain people. We're not saving the world. We're not doing anything important. We're just making up stories. So it's quite a harmless, sweet profession. It's more relaxing than anything. It is important to make people laugh. I though. think that's important. I actually Supreme. think it's not. So I think that that's the best thing about, I mean, I mean, we because we're not doctors. We're not finding a cure for something. But I think there's some great joy to making people laugh. Especially now when the world's are in a heavy place. Thank you. Thanks. Hi there, thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel. So please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice to people. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye.